Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and this is going to be a documentation of my experience as a first timer here at Rhythmia, which is a life transformation center. And I believe that title is perfectly fitting because that's exactly what happened to me. One of the key components to this place is their plant medicine ceremonies. And the way I'm going to format this video series is after each ceremony, the next day, I'm going to get on and talk about my experience and how it went, where my head is at, and all that kind of stuff. And I've already shot the videos, and I think you'll find it fascinating to, to see the progression from day one, two, three, and four. I went through just so many, just, just amazing. I, I, I've been so emotional this week. It just, it really has been a miracle to me. I came in with high hopes. I could tell just by just watching the videos that this would be a real solid place. And But it, it was just so much beyond what I expected. It was really like, wow, everything was just like perfect. And it's just like such a brilliantly well, just well oiled machine designed to do one simple thing. And that's to, to awaken you to your power, awaken you to your truth, and to inspire you to live a, a life of passion and purpose and love. That's a lot to deliver, I know. It sounds like I'm hyping it up. I don't have to. The, the agreement here is they, they invited me to come here because I have a YouTube channel and they wanted, they wanted to, uh, me to document it. And I said straight up off the bat, like, listen, I'm not going to just like hype up your place. You know, if I come, I'm going to give you my true account. So everything you hear in these videos is my honest to God take on the matter. Okay. And I have just been overly impressed. I can't say enough about this place. Um, so anyways, we're going to get into the first video now. And again, each day after this, until we're done, you'll see the progression of my stay here. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys inside. Peace. Namaste, my friends, and welcome to this YouTube video. My name is Victor, and today I'm going to discuss with you my first day, rather, more specifically, the day after my first plant medicine ceremony here at Rhythmia in Costa Rica. I'm going to go kind of find a nice place to talk. I'm going to sit down and give you just a true, honest account of what happened to me last night, and it was incredibly unexpected and profound and it'll probably take me some time to really digest it, but I'm anxious to share it with you. I'm gonna be doing this for all of the other days. I'll be doing four plant medicine ceremonies in a row. This is gonna be the day after the first one, and you can look forward to a video after each consecutive day. So but in the meantime, let's go bounce. We're gonna head out here. Okay, here we are. So I'm gonna talk about a few different things in particular. I'm going to talk about my expectations going into the experience, which were not at all accurate, <laughs> I'll just say. I'm going to talk about the, the setting, the, the space that was created by these awesome, the awesome staff. These, these like three shaman ch girls were there and it, they kind of created a really uh, welcoming and calm and safe place to kind of go through this experience. I'm going to talk about my subjective experience and how it was for me exactly. And then I'm going to talk about how I feel today, like more of the after effects. And I'll, I'll have this format for all of the videos I do. Okay, but in the meantime, it's kind of cruising around here looking for a cool place. There's pretty much anywhere you go is really nice, but I want to find some good lighting. Ah, we'll head over here. So number one, my expectations. I had, I had some expectations going in. I suppose it's difficult not to. Once I realized I was going to be coming to this place and learning about what it's all about, like a lot of people do, I went on YouTube. When I Googled stuff. I, I read a lot of different things. Primarily, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and testimonials, people who experienced this sort of situation. And uh, it, it was actually tough to draw conclusions because even from that, I gathered that it's a very subjective experience and there's people who were like, oh, I was like, the, oh man, it was awesome. I talked to God. Other people was like, oh my goodness, that was, I'll never do that again. And everything in between. So I came in with that. <laughs> I concluded there like, okay, you don't really know what to expect. Just chill on that. But I just, I just had a suspicion. I read, I read a little bit about it online and stuff of what it, the effects would be like and what it would be like in kind of a ceremonial setting, which is very new to me. 
and it was just different. I was not, I could not have been properly equipped. One of the reasons I feel very inspired to give a nice detailed overview of this, I didn't really see anything quite honestly that, that uh, I feel breaks it down the way I, I, I tr I'm gonna try to. Um, so my expectations were not accurate at all, but that's to my own pleasant surprise because they were exceeded in every imaginable way um, like ten, tenfold, hundredfold. It was just, uh, it's a truly a special place here. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about the setting. The setting, I would say to start off this place in general, I'm gonna talk about the specifics of like how the ceremonies are held, at least according to me and my take, but I'm also gonna talk about real briefly just like the, the, the unique place as a whole. It's kind of a, it's a very, on many, for many reasons, a very interesting and unique place. For one, just the people, it, it tends to attract certainly a higher conscious uh, a group of people, people who are consciously desiring to unravel the mystery of themselves and have been in a sense led to this as being a part of their journey. So it's kind of cool because you run into people and like there's a natural intrigue among the group like, huh, like like almost like an appreciation for like, you, you came out here, well, wonder what your deal is. I bet we would get along, you know? So it's real cool, everyone gets along real well. At the same time, it's, it's sort of a, it's a transformative experience. I've only been here a couple of days, but I can gather it's, it can be intense at some times. Um, so if, if people kind of want to like be left alone and kind of do their own thing, no one gets pissed off. It's not like you're, oh, you're not being part of the group. It's really just laid back at the same time pleasantly engaging. That's just like the, the, the people who come here. The staff are amazing. They really make you feel at home the moment you walk in. I had like coconut, like real coconut water from a fresh coconut. Uh, people kind of walking me through everything and everyone's real just hella cool. Um, and like the ceremonies themselves, that was, that's kind of a, that's kind of a interesting thing too, because I've, I, I fairly experienced with similar types of things as the plant medicine. And uh, I have a healthy respect, respect we'll say. I, so I came in with a little bit of nervousness, like, okay, wow. Especially having, did a lot of research online. Like this could be, I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. And I, I just felt kind of like, like a little bit uh, scared, a little bit, honestly, a little nervous. But what they had is like, they had classes that kind of gave you a lot of foresight and kind of told you what to expect, how to navigate, how to get the most out of the experience. And then there's a group of what really, at least to me, appear to be a very experienced and caring group of shamans, like three women who really kind of guided the experience. And you really just felt, in fact, it's right over there. That's kind of where we did it. Extremely beautiful, beautiful setting. In fact, there was a point where it was over and I went back to my room and I realized like, I don't even want to be in my room. I want to go back to the space. So I, I walked back and just kind of hung out, talked to some of the people here. And it was just so cool. They really created, but they basically successfully took me from being kind of nervous and apprehensive to feeling excited. And I, it was just such a, felt so safe exploring yourself. There was no fear. And it was just a wonderful, wonderful setting. The shamans, they played different kinds of music and they would come around and kind of blow like a smoke at you in a good way. They kind of cleared, they were really mindful of the energy and they're able to really keep keep the energy of the collective in the room, for, take that for what you will, according to my perception, at a very uh, pleasant, not pleasant like so much like weak, but they, they were able to, to manage all these different people going through profound experiences and they did it in a very beautiful way with their music and just coming along and kind of tapping you and saying, hey, how you doing, you know? They, you just felt like almost like, like that motherly care and nurturing sort of energy from all of them equally. It was, it was just amazing. So I couldn't have possibly drawn out a better space to kind of go through this for my first time. Um, it was wonderful. Okay, now I'll get a little bit into my subjective experience. So I went in with the notion that I have a kind of a high sensitivity to this sort of experience, um, but to my surprise, there's, there, are, there are times where you have, uh, you can go up for another cup and stuff in an optional way. And I found the first couple times I wasn't really feeling it much at all. And then the third time I had like a, I asked for a big cup 
and uh, and that was when it like kind of took hold for me. So I started getting going kind of later in the night. A lot of the in the, in the beginning, I found myself kind of almost bored, like wait, waiting for something to happen. Um, so it was just it just not what I expected. It came on very more gently and more soft than I would have anticipated, based on my previous experience with other similar things. And then even once it got going, I feel like uh, it took me a little while to realize that it requires my own intent and consciousness, at least just my time here, <clears throat> to, to sort of create a worthwhile experience. For a while, there are the side effects that are just kind of benign and interesting to some, but I, I was looking for something deeper. And I realized that I could have been having this deep experience um, earlier in the evening, even on a milder dose with my own participation. So once I realized that, it was, I had to really kind of uh, set the tone in a sense and then it kind of took a life of its own. And the way essentially it affected me, I would say primarily, is it helped me uncover extremely deep, fundamental, core realizations about myself. It, it was remarkable that I was able to have m clear memories back when I was very, very young, just a young child, two, three, four years old, and I could see and re-experience very clearly how certain things impacted my character and shaped my, myself, my sense of self throughout life. And then I found I, I was able to kind of see very clearly how that, those sort of distortions, you could say, heavily influenced my own behavior. And I kind of would act out in life unconsciously because of what happened to me. But in seeing it all, seeing that what had happened to me, how I'm playing it out, it was not easy, I'll, I'll be honest. It was very hard to, to look at myself and some of the things I've done. Um, it essentially, just kind of, without getting into too many details, there was uh, one experience where I, I'm hesitant to kind of talk about this, but there are just, I. You could say some, uh, I was aware of how people felt about me, like the truth of, of like how certain people in my life kind of felt about me. And I realized it was very like damaging to me in a sense, at least my young, my young self, and that I would kind of act in that similar manner towards other people in life and kind of create that the same way I was negatively impacted. I would, cr I put that and created that for other people people totally unconsciously but it was very tough to look at myself I felt like once the process once it was like time to close I felt it was unresolved I felt like I, I needed to like process this process these extremely heavy heavy truths about myself and my life and, and everything um, but during like as we were kind of wrapping up I got like the sense that there's more to be revealed like it's four nights in a row that maybe it'd be a continuation tonight on day two i don't know i am not going to pretend to anticipate anymore i'm going to let go but but regardless it, it showed me who i am and perhaps that's a testament to they had in this in this lecture before coming earlier in the day yesterday they had something where they went over like the collective intent like even if you go in kind of blindly which i didn't i had my like rigid expectation but even if you go in kind of blindly they said there's a few different things that that we kind of intend for everyone to have the first one is is to see who you've become i don't remember the, the second two item my, i had written down but that was exactly what the whole theme of last night was i saw who i had become truly underneath the blinders I've been walking through life with and it was it was as they warned me not warned me but said that once you see these things once you see these aspects of yourself there is no unseeing them you that's that's permanent and that was kind of one of the unique takeaways I took like all the realizations I felt were very digestible to me and I retained everything I experienced very clearly in, in a very usable way so now I can take that information and work on myself and I, I feel very even though it was again in a period of kind of uh, seeing a lot of darker aspects of myself and life in general I feel very positive I feel very good ab about it. my body feels kind of lighter it was kind of as they call it, like a mental purge um, so that was I guess the, the essence of my, my my whole my whole journey 
I would say one of the things I learned is in the first time, maybe it's hard to do without, you know, I, I maybe have had to have done it this way, but I learned how to like dose myself a little bit better now because I realized I needed a little bit more earlier. And I was kind of like really way out there when it was all done. And I, I could have probably been content chilling there for another couple hours, but it was time to go. Um, but, but luckily this place is so cool. The way, the way it worked is, I was able to come back. I went back to my room and I got back to my room feeling like very, like still heavy, like still raw, raw wounds have been kind of opened up for me. And I was like, I don't want to be here. So I just walked back and kind of hung out, went straight up, hung out here and sat in one of the chairs. One of the shamans came out, we were talking a little bit and it was just, I looked up at the stars and it was just gorgeous. Just, a, I, I just really, really just love this, this place, this vibe here they've created. It's, a, it's amazing, man. And I'm very anxious to get into day two, which is tonight. So lastly, I'll tell you real quick about how I feel now. So even in spite of having very little sleep, I, I got in, I rolled into my room around 2, 12 uh, a.m. And I went to sleep around 3.30. My wife was up, so I called her up, kind of just talked and told her all about it. And I went to probably fell asleep around 4, 4.15. And then they have this badass dog that's always hanging out all around here. It's like the... The spirit guide dog. It goes around and hangs out with everybody. It, it's. I'm gonna show you guys. It's this really cool dog. Anyway, well, he woke me up. He was like barking, <laughs> barking in the morning, which was fine. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not complaining. The, the light was kind of coming in my window anyway. But anyway, in spite of having very little sleep, once I got out, got over my initial grogginess, I feel very good. Even though last night again was, uh, in a sense, challenging. Honestly, it felt like. A job well done. It felt productive because of how I feel. Even though I didn't experience the, the stereotypical purging that others do at times, I felt, uh, I felt very rejuvenated. I, felt, I feel very good, like I, pretty energized. And I have not gotten a good night's sleep in a while because when I flew out here, I had just with my, my whole airport situation coming all the way from Vegas. I went from Vegas to LAX and LAX to Liberia. And um, there was a time where I was just sitting in the airport all night and didn't, I didn't really sleep a wink all night. And then I got here and the time is different. And I went to bed late because I was kind of excited to be here. So I didn't, so like the last three nights I slept very little. And yet I feel ready to rock and roll, man. I feel, I feel very good and very positive and just very hopeful. And a lot, especially even though I felt really good going in, again, testament to their, their staff and everything, I feel really like ready to, ready to get into it today. I, I feel like I'm excited to, to see what, what more can be revealed to me because I've already, I'm already feel like I'm experiencing just a, a level of lightness, uh, a healing effect that's already starting to take place. Anyway, if you're interested in, in, in my day two experience, stay tuned tomorrow, tomorrow on my YouTube channel, the same day. I'll be here and I'll tell you all about how it's been. Okay, so thank you for watching my friends. Have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Namaste.